Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal known as hematide quartz. Now sometimes it's also known as fire quartz or harlequin quartz and what it is is a really interesting crystal that combines hematite which is an iron oxide and we know that anything that's iron oxide is really grounding and then it's growing within clear quartz. Now clear quartz of course is very balancing, harmonizing and empowering and uplifting. So you get this really kind of nice dance between a groundedness but an empowerness. Now it's different to golden healer quartz that also has iron in it. Obviously that's got the yellow, whereas this has that bright kind of fiery red that I really like. And in this video, what we're gonna look at is how you can use this amazing crystal of hematoid quartz to make changes in your life, to empower yourself, to be grounded and so much more. So let's dive in and look at hematoid quartz. Do you ever find life stressful or chaotic or overwhelming? I think all of us do at some point or another, if not all the time. This is where hematoid quartz is going to be really, really great. That hematite aspect is going to be really nice in helping to settle you down and help you to feel empowered. But the other great thing is with the clear quartz in there, it allows us to not only feel settled, but to bring us clarity. One of the most unsettling things in life is uncertainty. And if we're having a lot of things happening, and we're feeling uncertain about what the future holds, this can really kind of throw us for a six. This is where hematoid quartz can re really be beneficial. It helps to bring you into the present moment. And when you think in the present moment, there's often not things we need to worry about. Stress comes from when we're worried about the future and the uncertain future, or if we're dragging the past with us and worried about that old hurt happening again, or still feeling that and reliving that again. By coming back into the present, we actually let go of a lot of that anxiousness and a lot of that stress, and hematoid quartz helps us to do this. This is a really great crystal for anyone who struggles to stay present or pay attention. It's renowned for being a crystal that can help anyone who has attention challenges. So if you do get easily distracted, if you're trying to get rid of you know, screen time or anything like that, after you finish watching this video, of course, um, or you, um, someone on the spectrum, this is going to be a really great crystal to ground you and keep you focused when things are stressful or overwhelming or uncertain, reach for hematoid quartz. As those things that are worrying you start to kind of settle down, that's going to free up more energy, both physically and mentally, for you to focus on what you need to do. And this is why hematoid quartz can be quite empowering. Not only that, but you're going to find that it does actually give you an energy boost. And a lot of people that have worked with this crystal have found just more energized as well. In that way, when you feel more energized, more vital, you're more courageous and you go forward and anything that's kind of challenging you at the moment, you're willing to kind of give it a go. Sometimes when we're feeling beaten and exhausted from too much, we just can't even be bothered trying anything. But with hematoid quartz, you're going to find that you're able to actually get more out of your life because you're willing to try more because you're not so overwhelmed as well. One place where this crystal can be really great is in legal matters. If you've ever been involved in a legal kind of battle with anyone, it's taxing, it's exhausting, it's overwhelming and all those different things. And this is going to be a great crystal to keep with you throughout that process. Now, if you are going to court, then you want to have one of these in your pocket or wear it over the chest. Or if you've got legal papers around and you want to make sure that everything goes according to plan, you're going to place that crystal on there. If you need to make sure that you are empowered and everything is clear for you, then that's going to be the crystal for you, especially in matters that are legal or making sure that everything is fair in the end. As we clear out all that clutter and we clear out all that confusion, then we can really focus on what we want. And hematoid quartz is renowned for actually being a really great manifester. You see, hematite helps us to know how the world works and understands that by settling us down. Sometimes if you tend to have these outlandish ideas that never come to fruition, then working with any form of hematite will help you to actually know the truth of how the world works and to settle down to be a bit more practical and to apply real energy in the direction that you want to manifest. Now bring in the clear quartz, which we know adds extra energy to whatever we want, and this can be a really great crystal. So hold it in the hand that you write with. So for most of us, that will be our right hand. And close your eyes, visualizing and engaging all five of your senses like that thing that you want to come true is already there. See it. What can you smell? Taste it. 
What can you hear? Can you feel it? Do you touch it? All the different things. Engage all five senses and imagine you there for as long as you can. And as you do that, send that energy into that crystal. Now do that for as long as you can do without getting distracted and thinking about other things. Then you want to keep that crystal around you all of the time. If it keeps you up at night, then leave, take it away for then, but definitely all throughout the day. Even when you're not thinking about that goal that you want to manifest, this will be sending this vibration into your energy field, into your aura, and of course the universe matches your vibration. So if you're manifesting a new job, a new opportunity, a new home, a new partner, something different, whatever that may be, even though you're not thinking about it all the time, this crystal is doing that thinking for you and putting that vibration out there. Of course, you're going to need to take those actions and hopefully by working with hematoid quartz, you feel grounded, empowered and clear on what you need to do. And you'll find in no time, you're starting to manifest the life you desire. One particular time where you may find hematoid quartz is really great to have by you is during a Mars retrograde. Now Mars goes retrograde for about 40 days and only every second year or so, so it doesn't happen too often. When Mars goes retrograde, it looks like it's going backwards in the sky. It's actually not, it's an optical illusion. But when it happens, it takes its support away from us. Now Mars, known as the planet of war, is also the planet of motivation, of victory, of drive, of urge, and getting things done. So if it takes that energy away, guess what happens during the Mars retrograde? We just can't be bothered. We lack motivation. So what the lesson of Mars retrograde is, is if you're not being inspired and motivated by Mars, and you're not motivated to do it, then why are you doing it? We all know when we're passionate about something, nothing could stop us. An army of a hundred elephants in our way, we would find our way through if we were truly passionate about achieving something. And so what happens during Mars retrogrades, we get to realize that sometimes we're doing things just because the world thinks we should, and we're motivated by pleasing other people. So when Mars goes into retrograde, we start to tap into, okay, if I don't want to do this, what do I want to do? What will I get out of bed early on a Sunday morning to do? What inspires me? What do I lose time doing? And by meditating with this crystal during a Mars retrograde, it can help to bring that clarity. It's a really great time for transformation to identify where you're kind of pissing away your energy, doing things that don't serve you and don't truly make you joyous. A lot of the time we do things because we feel obliged to do them or other people tell us that we should be doing them. This crystal grounds you, focuses you, empowers you and gives you the courage to start shifting your life and fulfilling your passions. That is a lesson that comes up during Mars retrograde but it can be this kind of work can be done at any time as well. You just may find it becomes more obvious during that astrological event. If you've got a brand new piece of hematide quartz or you've been asking a lot of it recently, it's a really good idea to give it a break. Pop it out in nature so it can kind of regenerate and come back to its full potential. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, I normally suggest the best way to cleanse this. And hematide quartz is one where I'm kind of torn between two different options. The first option is cleansing it with fire to bring in that kind of sense of empowerment. Now, the best way to do that is leave it near an open fire, not too close because you don't want the crystal getting hot and cracking or breaking, about a meter away, wherever you could stand comfortably. Or if you don't have an open fire, passing it through a candle flame three times quickly will suffice. The other option is placing it on the earth or because it's quartz, you could actually bury it in the ground. Just make sure you leave a marker so you can find it in the morning. What I would do is I would look at how am I going to be using this crystal? Do I need that empowerment? Do I need that fire energy? Or do I need more of that grounding and that certainty in that way? Both fire and earth empower us in different ways. That slow, steady reliability of earth or that passionate kind of dynamic aspect of fire. Which one do you need? Use that to cleanse this crystal and it will imbue it with part of that energy as well. Now you can also bring in other gifts of nature. You know I love working with essential oils and the essential oil that I love with hematide quartz is clementine. Clementine essential oil gifted from the rind of the clementine has this beautiful sweet aroma. It works really well with the sacral chakra and when you've got these beautiful orange bits, this crystal can work well with the sacral chakra as well. Each citrus oil, although it can smell quite similar, has different energy and a different aspect. Clementine, if it could give you one word of advice, it would be carpe diem. Seize the day and stay present. And remember before I was talking about hematide quartz being really good for helping to keep you present as well. 
So work with these two to find the joy in the moment and not worry about the future so much. If you tend to always be worrying about what's going to be happening next and you don't enjoy every moment, this combination can be really great. So diffusing or even anointing yourself in clementine essential oil, or sometimes if you get a really good clementine essential oil, you can actually pop a drop in water, flavor your water and bring it in that way as well. Now, when it comes to an animal guide, the animal guide that came through to me and sung very loudly was the canary. Canaries are renowned for, again, seizing the moment, being joyous in the moment. They have that beautiful song. They're also very, very receptive. And, you know, you've probably heard the saying of the canary down the coal mine. Well, it's because they are that sensitive. And if something goes wrong with a canary, something's wrong. So this crystal will help with your awareness as well, as the canary guide can help you too. But make sure that you're always singing the song you want to be singing. Now, astrologically, of course, it's connected to Mars. Mars rules Tuesday. So if you're going to do any kind of real serious work with this crystal, do it on a Tuesday and you're bringing in a bit more astrological energy to support you as well. Now, do you have any hematoid quartz in your collection? It's kind of a newer crystal that's become readily available. It's definitely not too expensive. I'd love to hear about your experiences with it. And so would everyone else. So please leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.